In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a campaign in Salesforce. Here we are on the home page, and I'm going to navigate over to the Campaigns tab. When I click on the Campaigns tab, I can see over here that there's a button that says New. If I click on the button, the screen refreshes, and I can see all of the fields that are available to me in order to capture any attributes that I need regarding this campaign, and any fields that are required are highlighted in red. So I could see here the campaign name is red. So I'm going to put in a campaign name, 2017 Test Simulated Campaign. I will check off the box for active. I can choose the type of campaign that it is, the status of the campaign. I can choose a start date as well as an end date. I can put in any other details if I know them, and then I can go ahead and hit save. Once I hit save, the next thing that I need to do is customize the statuses that are appropriate for this campaign. Every campaign is going to be slightly different. For some campaigns, we're going to be inviting people to a trade show, maybe a webinar or a conference, a luncheon. For some campaigns, we're going to be doing an email distribution. Some campaigns might be a calling campaign, maybe a fundraising initiative. So each campaign is slightly different and they will ha all have different statuses. In order to control those statuses, we go here in the campaign and we click on Advanced Setup. So I'm clicking on the Advanced Setup button and then I can see that there are two default statuses that are appearing on my campaign, Sent and Responded. I can go ahead and change them by simply clicking on the Edit button. So what I typically do is I make the initial default option for every campaign as added to campaign, which means we're tracking simply the fact that we added these contacts and leads into the campaign, but nothing has happened yet. We have not made a single phone call. We have not distributed a single email to any of the individuals that were included in the campaign. They were simply added into the campaign. Let's make believe this is going to be a calling initiative. So I might have over here, uh, the second option is going to be uh, called, couldn't reach, called, connected, and then I might have uh, interested or not interested. And whether or not they are interested, indicating whether or not they are interested is uh, what I'm going to use for checking off the boxes over here for responded which means that they either gave a positive or a negative response that they were interested. Depending on the type of campaign, it's up to each organization to define how we want to leverage the responded option. So responded could be that they actually clicked on an email, that they downloaded a PDF, that they responded RSVP yes or RSVP no to an upcoming event. It's up to each organization for each campaign to decide what should trigger as uh, having been responded. Now I will simply click on the Save button. And once I click on the Save button, let's go back into my campaign. And now I'm going to add individuals into my campaign through the Manage Members button. So right on top of the screen, there's a button that says Manage Members. I'm going to click Add Members by Search. And now I'm going to search the database for all of my contacts. And just for simulation purposes, I will search all contacts whose uh, last name starts with the letter R. I'll hit go and I can see all of those individuals are listed here. I can use this checkbox right here to select everyone that appears or I can handpick whoever I want to include in this upcoming campaign. Once I'm done making my selections, I can click on this button here where it says add with status and I choose my status of added to campaign. Once I do that, I get an indication over here that I've successfully added six members into my campaign. So now when I go back into my campaign and I look at the campaign members, I can see those campaign members listed right here. I hope you enjoy this video and I look forward to teaching you some new tricks in the next video.